After the collapse of the Amazon and the carbon cycle, stabilising global temperatures to avoid a four-degree increase may no longer be possible. The global stream of migrants, which started with those seeking food and water, now includes millions fleeing coastal areas. Cities there will either vanish or become islands. In this temperature range, ice at both poles is certain to vanish, causing an eventual rise in sea levels of 50 metres. This will take hundreds, perhaps even thousands of years, but a sea level rise of even one metre every 20 years is far beyond our capacity to adapt. One place where adaptation is critical is China. While most countries' emissions have been largely stable since the start of this century, China's have gone through the roof. Today, the country produces 28% of the world's rice, 24% of the world's maize, and 18% of its wheat. But in this future, Chinese agriculture crashes. The country needs to feed more than a billion people on two-thirds of its current harvest. Meanwhile, by this point, up to 85% of the Amazon rainforest has disappeared. Summers will be longer, with soaring temperatures turning forests into firewood. Southern Britain could reach 45 degrees Celsius. Air conditioning is mandatory, which in turn puts more stress on energy infrastructure. There's a spike in emissions as output from coal and gas power stations increases, as hydroelectric sources literally dry up and renewables fail to take up the slack. But the most damaging event at this temperature is the irreversible thaw of permafrost. At least 500 billion tonnes of carbon trapped below ground could be released by 2100. While no one has put a figure on the exact implications for global warming, the signs are ominous.